So the last one here is I have f divided by g of x. So when we have f divided by g of x, what they're simply asking us for this is just to divide our two functions. So to take f of x and divide it by g of x. So therefore, I'm taking x squared, dividing it by 4 minus x. Now, we look at this, and we can't simplify it any further. But the main important thing we need to understand is when we create, when we have our rational function, we need to make sure we throw in our constraints of what x can and cannot be. We know that our denominator cannot be 0. So what you're going to do is when you find you have a rational um, function or equation, you set your denominator equal to 0, and you say, OK, when is x going to be 0? When x equals 4, it, this expression equals 0, right? You don't want that to equal 0 in the denominator. So you say, comma, x cannot equal 4. Why? Because when you put a 4 in for the x, you get a 0 in your denominator, which is a no-no, right? Yeah. That's it.